Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the press color when the button is animated. So what is press color? When you see that each time I click the ripple effect is shown and the color of the ripple effect by default is black. It gives a better visual ripple. So press color is the color that is ap applied to the ripple when click events are fired. So let's change the color to red. Let's run. Let's see the color of the ripple. You can see some red. So press color is basically the color applied when the button is clicked and the application is targeted towards the ripple nowhere else but the ripple so remember that the press color is for the ripple only so when you have a theme for example a dark theme you can change the fill color to black say and the four color is white and you can change the ripple say to a shade of blue or white it can give a better visual representation if we set this to white it's even much better so if you want to customize the color of the ripple you just target the value of the praised color this will be applied this is even much better. Let's look at another property. And below, you see the shadow decoration. What is this? This is when a shadow is applied around the button. So let's change the fill color to white. And let's change the four color or the text color. To black and we like to change the we like to enable the shadow decoration by default is disabled but look what happens when it is enabled a shadow is applied to the button now when we run the project you see a beautiful nice shadow is applied right around the the control Okay, I ran into some errors, so let's wait. Let's rebuild the project. So let me fix this error quickly and come back shortly. Okay, I fixed the problem. An instance or reference to this object was uh, to this form's object was in memory, and Visual Studio had logged it, so I couldn't apply any changes to the to the form. So it created uh, an, an issue. So we're talking about the shadow decoration. So if we apply the, the shadow by enabling it, and then we change the color of the button to white, we like to see the shadow more pronounced in the, the four color to black. Now we can see this nice shadow applied let's let's run there it is you can see the shadow is applied to the button and we can change the shadow how it is applied and how it is placed on the control so let's change to circle the mode you can see that the shadow is in a circular form right at the back of the control and we can change we can revert this shadow decoration to custom it will be applied in all sides of the control so we can change also the 
size of the shadow list provide 10 remember the size is in form of pixels so each value represents a pixel and the more the pixel the deeper the shadow if it's two the shadow is light as you can see if you set to two pixel but if set to 10 or 15 it becomes a deep shadow so remember that when we are setting the shadow of the of the control the gonna button the shadow property represents the depth of the pixels that will show the shadow right round the control exactly so we can always enable of course or we can disable the the shadow so let's move on to let me disable the shadow Let, let's move on to another property or feature which is the text align we can choose how we want our text to appear if it's aligned to the center it will be right at the center of the container or, or at the center of the button container if it's left it will be aligned to the left aligned to the right and then aligned to the center we can set the text offset along the y-axis and the x-axis remember the x-axis is horizontal and the y-axis is vertical so we can say 20 for example and it will be pushed toward to the right along the y-axis and the axis if you say 20 it will be pushed right out of the picture or right out of the uh, button itself you see so remember that positive values are pushed toward and negative values are pushed in reverse for example minus 20 it takes the button back and minus 20 it takes the button on top if you want to revert to default you just set 0 comma 0 and then the text is aligned according to the alignment property center and you can change however you want the alignment to be another interesting and cool feature is the transform feature you can set the transform to uppercase and the text is changed to uppercase or you can set it to lowercase it's changed to lowercase as well if you set to none what happens is that the guna button will take the formatting of the text property and then apply it on the text transform property so none simply means that if button is set to capitals it will be applied to the text trans to the text transform property of type none but if we set this to uppercase all the text will be capitalized lowercase they will be in lower capitals and then none the formatting on the text property will be applied to the text transform property so these were some of the features really that we have covered together that we find in the guna button so if you have any questions on how to use any of the features feel free to to send an email or to post in the comment section if you are watching this video for the first time please watch other videos with reference to the guna button and see how you can use other features we have talked about the border color the auto size the auto rounded we have also talked about the fill color we have talked about the animated images we have talked about a lot of things so watch other videos as well thank you so much for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video